movements because I think that movements, uh, the, the form and the kind of dynamic of movements is really the way forward for the church in the West. What's up? Day one, Calibrate Northwest. Think international, hopping out of the golf cart. Welcome. I'm Jeff. I'm Sean. Kabam! People for a lot of years said how hard it was to do church in the Northwest, yet we're seeing God do amazing things. And in the midst of challenges that our country is facing, I think the Northwest looks at that and says, it's been difficult here all along. This is an opportunity, not a challenge. And coming back to the simplicity of the heart of discipleship and empowering people to minister in the spirit and really to go out and do what Jesus did here and around the world. I think that's gonna happen more and more in the years to come. Well, I think that's the, the heart of the, the missionary that we have, that we're looking at as a church planner, is they're definitely I want to be on the cutting edge in terms of what does it mean to engage culture. Guys are thinking differently about church, right. about how can we reach lost people and wow. see what kind of church emerges from that instead of starting with this model of a church. Calibrate 2010. Calibrate, here we go. Hey man, two words to describe Calibrate. Two words to describe Calibrate. Oh, life changing. Bam, life changing. Amazing. I don't have two words. Awesome and fun. Two words to describe Calibrate. Awesome and awesome. Double awesome. Bam. Phenomenal and great. Phenomenal uh, <laughs> stuff. Baller and informative. Eye-opening. Stinking awesome. Stinking awesome. So you're obviously the most popular guy here. Everyone's yeah. surrounding you. Yellow shirt. What's yeah. that mean? Are you one of the speakers? I'm here to help. I'm here to serve. You're here to serve? Yeah, absolutely. Man, I would love it if you go to Starbucks and get me a... Uh, a tall chai, yeah. non-fat, no water. Hey, where are you guys going for lunch? I have no idea. Okay, all right, never mind then. Maybe we'll join up with you guys later. So, so what are we thinking for lunch, guys? We think barbecue. That's great. Hey, would you bring me back like a pulled pork sandwich? Appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks. We're going to lunch. Here we go. Good to see you. Here we go. Come here. We're going with you guys. Lunch is on you guys today. We just picked up two more, so we're set. Let's go. So, I don't know if we'll fit in here, but we'll try. Yeah, thanks. Guys. thanks. <laughs> just come on, just pack on in there. <laughs> That's it. Oh, there is no room. Okay, okay. All right, well, bring <laughs> us back something. Thanks. Oh, these people look lost. Did you guys lose your car? Yeah. Oh. You know where it's at? Uh, what, what does it look like? I don't know. What does it look like? I think it's somewhere over there. And just the just the connectedness, uh, the, the open-handedness of different people, different right. organizations. That kind of that family feel, that emphasis on relationships and just being in each other's lives. Thinking international. Thinking international in a golf cart. It actually takes a lot more money to try to heat the outside than it does the inside. Alan Hirsch is up next. You guys excited? Pumped. Pumped. Have you ever heard him before? Negative. Your face is going to melt, dude. You having a good time? Having a great time. Two words to sum up Calibrate Northwest. Um, encouraging and inspirational. There it is. But there's just such a beautiful thing about the kingdom happening right now. For me, that's the most exciting, to see something like this happen and people just being excited and calling it their own and believing that we're in this together. That's, that's the coolest thing. And every now and again, we need to be disturbed and disrupted. God needs to come along and sometimes take prophets or people like that who speak it out uh, to kind of disrupt us and to give it, kick us in the butt, I guess, uh, to try and wake us up from our stupor so that we might become creative again. I think we're living in that time. We build our services and our churches to attract, a lot of times, non-Christians. And I think at that moment, I felt like God was telling me, instead of building a service to attract a non-Christian, why aren't you building Christians that will attract non-Christians? Revival will happen. Up to, the, up to a certain point, we really hadn't thought about what does it mean to be missionaries in our own backyard. One of the challenges is to begin to see our task as being cross-cultural missionaries right here. It precipitates a kind of change in the way we think about the church and how we engage culture. We realize that we have to reach out beyond ourselves and become a sent people, a missionary people. 
because it calls us to our most fundamental truths. When we're hearing today about discipleship and Jesus again, it's our most fundamental truth, and we often forget these things to our great detriment. When I read the New Testament, I go, that's what we're supposed to do. That's what a Christian is, is a disciple maker. Spoke to those, his first disciples, he says, follow me. Follow me, I'm going to make you fishers of men. And then when he leaves, he goes, now go and make disciples. That's just what it's all about. Coach's job is to make sure that his team plays well, raises up people. He's not going to play any position other than coach. He's going to raise up people, train them, and release them. We were called to be an army of disciples who were released on a community, and too many pastors are trying to gather a crowd rather than release an army. Just more of the same is not going to get the job done. We have to think differently about how we do church. So day one, Calibrate was just nuts. Day two is going to be unreal. We're here with the Calibrate regulators, and we just want to say peace. It's out there. Right now we're playing parking lot attendant. As the weirdest response you've gotten to a, hey, hello, how are you? Okay, so when a guy was coming in, I was greeting him, and I'm like, here, here, sir, how you doing? And he's like, no, 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 wait, don't hand that to me yet. Let me go drop some thunder in the bathroom, and then I'll be back. <laughs> and I was like... Things you never say to a lady, <laughs> drop thunder. I was alone. I was all by myself. Would you rather have the wisdom of Francis Chan or... Or the, uh, or the toughness karate skills of Jackie Chan. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, well, look at me. <laughs> I mean, if you just look at me, you know I'm not going to be a Jackie Chan. So I better go with, I better go with Francis. I better go with Francis. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much, Chris. Right, no I appreciate problem. it.